Hey guys, this is Sims and Wins, and welcome back to another episode of our Sims 2 Build a City Challenge. So, um, what, uh, what I ended up doing is I finished, um, my daughter Hara's, um, college. I rushed her through college, and, uh, we're gonna put her with Mr. Ward here. Um, so... I'm not sure why she has 20,000. Do they always go home with 20,000? I'm not sure. I might just take that for the government. But she's going to be moving back home with her dad, who's still there. And we're also going to be putting in Richard with her as well. So they're out of the way. So um, I was... Not this family. Where's the Ward family? The Ward family. So I was playing them a little bit last night. Um, and I'm like almost done with their sim week. I just want to quickly update you guys on what's different not a whole lot um yeah she's just rushing through school he's just doing his job uh, I just wanted to show you the house because I do think I did a good job furnishing that house if I do say so myself <laughs> if I do say so myself I thought I did a good job um let's see loading screen I'm like too lazy to cut. I should probably cut. Oh, it's here. Okay, so this is their house. So this is the house I downloaded. I did not build this house. However, it was like bombed when I did my CC deletion. So like a lot of what it came with is missing. It was much more beautiful when I downloaded it. But it's still, you know, it's not bad. Um, so on the inside, I furnished this. And... <gasps> I do think I did a good job. Like, okay, just ignore the bedrooms for the most part, okay? But, like, out here, y'all, I think I did a good job. Anyway, so, um, yeah, they're basically almost done with their sim week. She's gonna go to college the next time we play her, and he is just at the top of his career. He wants to fall in love, and I don't know who to make him fall in love with. Like, he's really into... Well, he's not really into... He's kind of into my daughter, who I just put in a house who is in love with Richard Ward, his previous roommate. <laughs> okay, so it get, it, we could kind of maybe, you know, do a little something funky there. We shall see. I'm not doing any drama right now. I'm not in a drama mood, okay? Otherwise, he's into the old ladies of the neighborhood, <laughs> like Sabrina Carter, who's married. Uh, Angelica Hubertson, who's married. Uh, there's also the Kramer, uh, the Kramer witch. Uh, she's not married, but she's a witch, you know. Um, what else? That's basically, I'm basically done with this in week. I'm just going to play through one more day, and then we'll go to the next household. I'm looking at this house, and I'm trying to decide if I built this. Did I built this? I built this monstrosity? I built this? I had to have built it because it's ugly, right? So it must have been me. I must not have downloaded this. There's no way I downloaded this. This is something I built, I think. What is this? My god, I did an awful job at this. <laughs> the 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 inside is not so bad, you know, like it yeah, I built this. I I definitely built this. The inside is not the worst thing in the world, but the outside is awful. But anyway, so we're in Athena Hannah's, Athena Fairchild's um, family. She's now a Hannah because she got married to Kai Hannah. So let's take a look at the family tree. So um, remember the Thotty I was talking about, Sandy Fairchild, maybe last episode. She's the one who had three children with three biological fathers. Athena is a product of one of her affairs with John Oakstead who died young, not young, he was an elder, but he was killed off by his gold digging wife, who ended up having those twins, one of whom died randomly. I still don't know why she died. And her other son is Hunter Oakstead, um, who is a teenager, uh, who is in the college right now, I believe. So, uh, that's her. So she is... <gasps> She is a descendant of the second founding family, Matthew Oakstead and Gretchen Oakstead. So she is the grandchild. 
And now they've got children as well. So she ended up marrying Kai Hanna, who has a sister named Camille, who ended up marrying uh, Jaden Brown. And they've got a daughter named Rosalie. But Kai Hanna is the brother, and he ended up marrying Athena. They had three kids, so I went with the Greek theme. Besides Cora. Cora, I don't know where I got that from. But we have Cora, we have Nepheli, and we have Ares. Nepheli in Greek would be Nepheli and Ares um, as Ares. So that's what I named the kids. Uh, this one's in bad shape. She's, like, not happy. So she needs to do something to, like, feel better about herself. So let's get her on a logic. Um, let's get her to practice her logic. Where do I have a chess table? Oh, there we are. All right. Let's get her to practice a little bit so she gets a little happier. We've got this other kid who's probably going to just watch TV right now. Just watch TV. Where's the baby? Where is the baby? Oh, it's on the floor. Okay. Can we put the baby in the crib? Where's dad? Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, it's the morning. I'm like a little disoriented. Why is it a Saturday? It shouldn't be a Saturday. Why is it a Saturday with this family? Did I like leave it earlier? I must have left the sim week earlier. All right, guys, so I'm still playing this family, the Hannah family. I think the Hannah just threw a birthday party, so some of her family members should be coming shortly. Um, some of her like half siblings or whatever they are. Um, and I just want, just really quickly, to eat her husband up, because it's his birthday. So he's turning into an elder. What's this guy's name again? Kai Hannah's turning into an elder. Let's get him over to the birthday cake. And then also her daughter, um, Nefeli, is going to become a teenager. And I'm just interested in seeing, like, what she'll look like. Okay, let's just age him up real quick. Let's go... All right, he's officially an elder, and now let's get her to blow out the candles. Alrighty, she should be blowing out candles. All right, and she's turning into a teenager now. Um, as you can see, they have a lot of money, so at some point, I'll build them a nice house, I think. Oh, she's pretty. <gasps> oh, she's really pretty. Let's check her out real quick. Change appearance. Uh, oh, what should she be? Okay, hold on. Siri, pick a number between one through six. Six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I hate the popularity aspirations. Let's not be into makeup. Let's be into, I don't know, black hair, I guess, and cooking. All right. Um, no one's going to age up with her. I hate the popularity and I hate the pleasure aspirations. Um, so I just want to check her out real quick. Uh, I haven't really been playing. It's been like a couple weeks after my last session of recording because my sister's here visiting from New York. Um, so I've been pretty busy. Um, but yeah, I think she's really pretty. I just want to check her out. Like, look at those eyes. Look at her eyes, guys. I don't have a lot of hairs. I know I need to download hairs. But she had like a light brown. So I want to retain the light brown here. Uh, like very light. You know, I think just a down look is good. Yeah, I think this looks good. But I just want to give her some makeup because she's so pretty. Um, I don't know. I guess a more dramatic look is fine with me. Yeah, she's really pretty. I just need to change her outfit. <laughs> Like, her outfit desperately needs to be changed, but I don't even know if they have, like, a lot of outfits. Like, I never go shopping. I never take the Sims shopping. She doesn't have a lot here. Uh, she can just wear... Do we want her to be, like, punky looking or preppy looking? I imagine her preppy, so she's going to be a preppy girl. All right, she's gorgeous. Okay, so that's basically it. There's two more Sim days in this Sim week, so um, I'm going to meet you guys in the next family. The next family is Regan Sanderson, our witch who murders people. She's fun to play. And uh, I don't know, should I take money out of this household and put it towards something? I could. I could. But maybe I won't. Maybe I will. I already have a million, so you know what? Like... We'll work on that next cycle, okay? We'll work on that next cycle. So we'll have them keep the money because I might, I don't really like this house. I might build them a really nice house in the hills where the rich people live. We'll see. All right. Anyway, so I'll see you in Reagan Sanderson's household.
All right, guys. So, um, I am now in the Reagan Sanderson household. Um, I, I don't know. You're seeing me from a different angle. I'm like rearranging my house a little bit, so I moved my computer a little bit. I'm trying to decide if it's like too close. I feel like you're really close to me. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so we are in Reagan Sanderson's household. Um, she just went to bed, but I realized we've got Benjamin Long in one of our dungeons here waiting to die. Um, so yeah, poor Benjamin Long. If anyone's a Benjamin Long fan, sorry, but, um, he's gonna get it. Okay, so I don't know if he'll last the night, if he'll make it to the morning, but let's see. Oh, my contacts. Um, so, uh, this episode is actually a little bit late. Uh, I had a problem with my computer again. Uh, my big computer, like this one that I play on, um, it, like, stopped turning on. And it was weird because the, the games were running fine. Everything seemed to be perfectly fine fine um it wasn't slow i didn't get like a blue screen of death or anything like that but it was just, just not turning on and um it was really stressful because this is my like baby like my this is my baby okay so I, I took it to the technician today um and i was like yo can you help me like i don't know what's wrong with this computer like it was fine and then now it's just not turning on and he was like your wire might be broken might be damaged and we did have a thunderstorm like right around the time that this started i don't know if that had something to do with it like could a thunderstorm have caused my power wire power adapter what's that called the wire that powers the computer anyway to have a problem i don't know but he gave me a new wire and now my computer's fixed so um yeah this episode's a little bit late because of that also i've been really busy with the, my school not school, like the program I'm doing for UI design. Um, I've gotten rejected from about 10 jobs though, but I haven't really been seriously applying. I don't have like a formal portfolio yet. I just have like a little portfolio on Behance. Um, I'm waiting to come back from New York in August. So in August, there won't be an episode because I'm going to New York um, for all of August to see my family and stuff like that. So I won't be working then anyway, so I don't know why I'm bothering to apply for jobs. Oh. Yeah, that's the that's the carpool for him. He's not coming. He's he's about to die, bro. So, um you can count him out of work today. <laughs> um, um so basically her MO is because she's a romance sim, she wants to brew woohoo with 20 sims, but she's also let's imagine psychopath, sociopath, like she Kills the Sims in her dungeons. She used to put them on fire, but that was dangerous. <laughs> that was dangerous. I used to use the Inflammo spell to like light them on fire, and they would light on fire, but also with the whole house would also engulf in flames. One time I even lost her doing that, so that's when I put the dungeons in. When I did her house, I also included dungeons for her victims. The house is mostly empty. It's not like she does much, so it's mostly useless, but just for show. She's got this big graveyard in the back of all the sims she's killed. We're working on Benjamin right now. I'm trying to find another sim <sighs> for her to entrap. I kind of, I like to stick with townies. Like, I like to grab townies. Um, so when her social needs really low, if her townie passes by, I'll grab a townie and grab them. I will also clear their inventories out, steal the money, and then she gives I basically steal the money from her and use it for neighborhood uh progress. So uh we'll let you know if I if either Benjamin dies, he should be dying soon. Like there really shouldn't be much left to Benjamin's life. If I fast forward maybe we can catch it. Like now. Hello. Are you gonna die, my dude? Are you gonna die? Uh Tony no oh who's this? Oh that's a Tony. So let's, you know, I always like to grab my townies. It's okay. Old ladies are not, you know, we can, or well, not irritate. We grab the townies, we romance, we woohoo, and then we shove them in the dungeon. Okay. Is he dead yet? He's not dead yet. He's sleeping. His hunger is all the way down, though. Like, oh, there he is. He's dead. There we go. <laughs> All right, it's not like they can even get inside to see the death, so. Bye, Benjamin. Sorry. 
Sorry, my dude. Let's add your gravestone to the other ones. They don't even have flowers. All right. She's so evil. She won't even put flowers uh, near the gravestones. Okay. So I'm just going to hustle a little bit, see if I can find another victim. And I will let you know if anything interesting happens. All right. So I actually found our catch. We are going to woohoo with this random dude, random townie named Bruce. He was actually a really bad catch. We only got 25 grand. 25 grand? No, not 25 grand. 2,500 out of him. Because he moved in with 2,000 and there was only like a 600 simoleon painting. And his inventory, so this was not a good catch. So, my dude. Oh. Who got busted? Oh. <laughs> the ghost of Benjamin Long. <laughs> it feels cheated on, even though he was murdered. Um. He was murdered. Did, did that woohoo count, though? It did, right? Okay, yes. So, she still hasn't done ten woohoo yet. Let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. We're not on ten woohoos yet. Okay. Well, um, the woohoo has been done. So you can go right in the dungeon, my friend. Okay, so um, please come inside. <laughs> Deuces, have a quick death, please. Uh, that would be nice. Now please go back where I told you to go. Thanks. Oh, we need to unlock it. Okay. Okay, first let's open that. Okay. Um, okay, and now we're locking for all sims. Okay, so now I believe he should not be able to, Why isn't the door closing? I don't think he can get out, but the door is not closing for some reason, but he can't get out anyway. Um, so that's it. I don't think I have time to grab another sim, so this is the money that she's got. It's not really worth transferring yet, so when it's a higher amount... I will transfer it. Um, let me see who's next. Uh, we have Jada Brown somewhere. I guess we can do Jada Brown. We have time to do Jada Brown. So that's who we'll do next. So I will see you in that household. All right. So now I'm playing Jada Brown's household. Now Jada Brown is one of the many, 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 many children of the Brown family made by my best friend, right? So I had my best friend have 10 kids. She's just one of these many, many kids. So she graduated from college. She's a recent graduate, just moved into a tiny little house that I think has been used before by some of the sim, I don't remember. But um, she wasn't into anyone in her class, in her college class. I couldn't really pair her. And you know, um, forget the fact that she's in her work clothes right now. Okay, just, just ignore that for a second. So if you remember Nicholas Ward, we played him a couple episodes ago. Very recently, I think. He's the widowed guy, the single guy with the daughter who was living with his buddies, but his buddies have now moved out. Um, he's single. Like, I'm wondering if I should pair them off. I'll probably do it next cycle if I do it. If I can't find anyone else for her, because they only have one lightning bolt. Like, there's not really an attraction there, but she might be looking for some money, maybe. They're already in love, though. Like, like they've been friends for a while. Like, I'm actually thinking about doing it. Like, let's just give them a little woohoo. It's okay. Let them woohoo. They don't have to marry each other. But at least let them woohoo, okay? And then we'll see next cycle what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I'll have him remarry and she can have a baby with him. Um, or I could press the try for baby button and bring a little drama into the game. Have a baby daddy? Hmm. I should do it. I could do it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Get up, guys. You're gonna try for a baby now. She's gonna, but she's not even like remotely ready for a child. But we're gonna do it, okay? Let me. Um. How do I wake him up? Let's shoot him. Let's get him up. All right. Let's relax. Let's ask him to join, and let's press try for baby button. If it doesn't happen on the first try, we're just gonna leave it. Like we're gonna leave this chance. She's pregnant. <laughs> Okay, so I've put in a little drama in the game, so 
she's going to have like an out of wedlock little baby. And then maybe she'll like go to him and be like, hey, I got pregnant on that like woohoo that we did. Uh, maybe we they'll figure something out next cycle. We shall see. All right. So we've got a little bit of drama. Okay. Um, for the most part, her playthrough is pretty boring. Just basically trying to career her up a bit. Um, her house is pretty boring. Everything's pretty boring about this. Um, so I will see you in the next household, which is one of her siblings and her boyfriend from college. All right, guys, excuse the fact that I'm looking a little bit like a psychopath. I'm really tired. I spent all day cleaning. I'm exhausted. I'm here to wind down. Okay, I'm winding down now. So um, we are now in the Sanchez family. Um, this is Jason Sanchez, and this is Jade Brown. They met in college, and they fell in love, and um, they moved into this house. Now, this house... I'm having a really hard time figuring out if this was the original Kramer house or if this was the original Oakstead house because I I feel like they're similar they were similar houses um and there was someone living in between so this was either the Kramer house or the Oakstead house and then the Kristoff family at one point lived here and they renovated it so it's hard for me to tell which one it was. This lake that I put here, like, it really makes me think that it, this was um, Billy Kramer's house. Because Billy Kramer would fish. But, you know, and I feel like Oaks, the Oakstead dude, I forgot what his name was. The first Oakstead. I don't remember. Um, sorry, I'm yawning again. I feel like he had a smaller balcony and he had a little, just a little chess table on the balcony, whereas this balcony is a little bit bigger. But anyway, this is an ancient house basically, um, for this neighborhood. And I think they're going to renovate it. Um, so I'm going to sit and like renovate it with the money that they have. It's probably not going to be too fancy. I do want to like fix up the outside a little bit just cause it's a little bit boring. Like my early building days, I didn't even color this. <laughs> um, but yeah, this could use some work. I might not keep that lake there. Or if I do, we're going to need to move the house over. Uh, let's see what I'm going to do. Give me a moment. All right. So this is what I did with it. They're kind of broke, so I couldn't really finish furnishing it. But I shifted the house sideways, gave it a kind of a new look while kind of keeping the old look. I wanted more of an outdoor area, so I kind of made the house smaller to fit a little bit of an outdoor area. Um... I feel like houses are not complete if there's no outdoor area, honestly, like, not like my house. My house has no outdoor space and it drives me crazy. Um, so upstairs is not furnished at all. I just have their bed there. Um, but downstairs, I kind of did what I could with the money that we had. I know the layout is kind of weird, like the dining table is here while the kitchen's over here in the living room next to the kitchen. But I didn't want to delete windows and I don't like to put TVs in front of windows. I try not to. Um, and I wanted this window here, so that's how I uh, did that. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to play this some week, just find them jobs, basically. Oh. Alright, so I will let you know if anything interesting happens. Alright, so I decided to throw them a wedding party only because that's what he wanted. I put minimal effort into it. I didn't like search through for formal clothes and stuff like that. I just want to get them married. So let's get them married. Everyone should be coming to watch. Ooh, black dress. I kind of always wanted a black wedding dress, but my mother-in-law would have killed me. Oh, <gasps> she's wearing the same dress. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so let's get this over with. Let's get them married. He wanted a wedding party. All right. So it's a good time. Um, oh no. He was supposed to throw it. Yeah, no, I screwed that up. So I did that for no reason. He was supposed to throw it. I had her call on the phone because I wanted her to invite her family. And he doesn't really have family, but I screwed that up. So anyway, that was done for absolutely no reason. That's fine. I guess we can just go eat. All right. So now they're married. I'm, their house is coming along. I'm working on it. Uh, they've got some jobs. 
no kids yet. I'll probably have to try for a baby now. And then by the next time we eventually get to this family, we'll see the product. Um, they're pretty happy. Um, and that's basically it um, for this episode. So next time we're going to be playing all of Blue Water Village. I'm going to try to really get it all done in one episode. It might take two, but I would like to ideally get all of Blue Water Village done in one episode. That way we can start the cycle all over again and I'm going to have to update this piece of paper, get a new paper. Okay. I'm going to need a new paper. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys have a great day or night, whatever it is in your part of the world. Take care and bye-bye.